down to four. I gotta pick one of these three. <laughs> this one is only gonna be talked about just because it's my best selling board in other times, but it's not necessarily my favorite, but I probably would pick it anyway. Can you hand me that the platinum? Yeah, that one right? No, no, next to it. Keep going, other way, other way, right there. This was the best looking colorway where it printed the best. It has silver in it. You see how dodgy that one looks compared to that one? For some reason. Two, four, five. I'd probably pick those. Hello, I'm Jamie Thomas, and these are five of my favorite pro model boards that I've had in my career. Um, this was my second board on, to second board on Toy Machine. Um, art was done by Ron Cameron. It was a super random. Matt Barker, one of the guys that works at Tomietto, um, had this painting on his wall. We were trying to come up with a graphic for my second board, and I was like, that painting's amazing. And uh, anyway, it we took talked to uh, Ron Cameron and then he did a rendition of the painting for my board um, where he just basically put it on a board and then I got married a year later and Matt Barker gave me the painting for my uh, wedding present so I had the painting and the board pretty tight this was my board from misled youth Smith grind board um, the photos by Dan Sturt um, this was this has been this was the best-selling board of my career so in 99 through 2003, probably, we made these boards in probably seven different colors. I don't know, it's probably the most of any one board graphic that we'd ever made. Um, so anyway, Misled Youth was a cool time and I don't know, brings back good memories and this is probably the board I rode the most as well. This was my first crossboard um, right when I got saved and uh, became a believer. I really wanted to like, let people know. Um, when I went to make this board, everyone was like, no, don't do that. That board's not gonna sell and everybody's gonna think you're a weirdo. And I didn't really care. I wanted to make it anyway because I wanted to like, I don't know, show my faith and tell everybody what I was about and that there was things more important than skateboarding. At any rate, this board sold like crazy because all the people who were also believers that didn't have anybody to relate to, they bought it and people that didn't skate bought it and it just went bananas and then afterwards, Everyone told me that I made it because of sales and that I was basically just trying to cash in on God. So it's a pretty ironic story that everyone told me it wasn't going to sell and I wanted to make it anyway. And then when it did sell, they told me that I was cashing in. So at any rate, this board was made in black first and I don't have one in black for some reason. I didn't save one, um, but I have this random one-off uh, natural wood grain board. So I just kept this one. And then I realized after the fact that I didn't have one, but I kind of like this one because it's just a random one, one-off one. But it's got John 316 on the back and then it's just got a cross, super simple. Um, that was it. Anyway, I thought this board was cool and I was really hyped on it. This board graphic was done by Ben Horton. Um, I've always been in a Native American kind of imagery and I've always been back in, uh, really into the movies and the, I don't know, just kind of like a cool vibe that I've always been down for. Um, somehow I also got the nickname Chief along the way by uh, Alyssa and Ellington and Greco. So it just kind of worked and this was my favorite Native American board that I had. Um, anyway, I don't know, just thought it was cool. This graphic was done by a freelance artist. It's, base, it's actually a, a, um, a carving into like linoleum. Um, and the artist's name was Chris Martin. I think he only did two graphics for us, but this was one of them. And it's uh, the Archangel Michael um, killing a demon. At any rate, uh, I was super hyped on this one. I just thought it came out really cool and it was really different than a lot of boards. We made a silver one and a gold one. And then I ended up getting a tattoo of this graphic on my ribs um, that Kat Von D did. So anyway, it's one of my favorites. This board was a board, a toy machine board that Ed Templeton did. Um, we were in Europe and he got a call from the dudes at Tomietto and they were like, hey, we got a hundred extra boards. We need a graphic for a toy machine board. And um, he actually drew this just on a piece of paper and faxed it from Europe on this Europe trip we were on. And um, they cleaned up the fax and then made it into this board graphic. It's super random that it's on yellow and that it's a weird little alligator with glasses and a butthole. And um, I don't know, it's random, but they only made a hundred of these. And I think Ed has one and I have one, so there was 
maybe 95 or 98 sold. Just super random. Uh, I like it just because it's so random. This is also the only board Ed ever did my graphic for. That bastard.